Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy Hobo here today and it is week 17 in the NFL and it's finally over the regular season is coming to its grand conclusion with all games tomorrow, Sunday, January 1st. We're going to run these down really quick because I'm a little bit sick and I don't want to have to be talking for any longer than I have to. So Ravens at Bengals to start these, uh, to start these games off tomorrow on the new year. I'm going to take the Ravens in this game. Uh, it just seems like they've been playing a lot harder recently than the Bengals. The Bengals are done. The Ravens, they're pretty much done though after that L they took at the hands of the Steelers. But, yeah, I'm taking the Ravens here. Texans at Titans. I'm going to go with the Texans here, uh, the division-leading Texans, who will go into the playoffs as the AFC South uh, division winner. And who knows, maybe they'll win their wild card game next week. It's possible. But yeah, I'm going to take the Texans here over the Titans. Panthers and Buccaneers. Buccaneers, I'm going to take them in this game. The Panthers, they're just not good enough. Um, the Buccaneers, they're still a good team no matter what. Uh, and I'm going to take the Bucks over the Panthers. Browns at Steelers, this one's a no-brainer. I'm going to take the Steelers over the Browns in this game. Cowboys at Eagles. Uh, I'm going to take the Eagles, actually, because the Cowboys are going to you know, they're going to play Dak sparingly. They said they're going to play Tony Romo for a little bit. Mark Sanchez is going to get some action. And that is not a recipe for winning. Even though the Cowboys are the number one seed in the NFC. And they have a first round by in the playoffs. So there's no need to play their guys. And there's no need to play hard. Even if it's a division game. So I'm going to take the Eagles here over the Cowboys. Bills at Jets. Uh, you know, this is a game for for pride at this point. Uh, division game for pride. <laughs> so, yeah, you know, I'm going to take the Bills. They're a better overall team than the Jets at this point. So, yeah, I'm going to take the Bills here over the Jets. Bears at Vikings. Um, the Vikes are terrible. The Bears are terrible -er. It's not even a word. But, you know, the Bears, they beat the Vikings earlier in the season, which started the Vikes' downward spiral. And I feel like the Bears are going to do it again. So I'm going to take the Bears here over the Vikings. Jaguars at Colts. Because I hate the Colts, I'm going to take the Jaguars in this game. Patriots at Dolphins. Patriots are going, going to beat the Dolphins and end their playoff hopes dead in the water. Chiefs at Chargers. Chiefs are going to pick up a big win against the Chargers, stay in the playoff conversation. Uh, and it's really necessary that they beat the Chargers in order to stay in that conversation because there's a lot of good teams in that AFC who are trying to kick the Chiefs out. Even at this, this point in the season, Week 17, but, yeah, the Chiefs are going to beat the Chargers. Cardinals at Rams. Uh, this game really doesn't matter. But the Cardinals are going to win against the Rams. Raiders at Broncos. This game, you know, at the beginning of the season, we thought maybe could have some playoff implications. At this point, it really doesn't. The Raiders, I'm pretty sure, are locked in uh, at this point for a playoff, a playoff berth. Uh, you know, actually, this does have a lot of playoff implications because the Chiefs and the Raiders... They're still fighting for that, I believe, the number two seed in the AFC. So I think that if both the Chiefs and the Raiders win, the Chiefs are going to be the number two seed. But, um, yeah, the, there's a lot of a lot of shenanigans that could happen to put the Raiders back in the number two seed spot. But yeah, I'm going to take the Raiders here, and both the Chiefs and the Raiders are going to stay in the playoff conversation. Giants at Redskins. Uh, this game doesn't matter. The Giants are guaranteed a playoff spot. However, if they beat the Redskins, the Redskins are officially out of the playoffs. The Redskins win. It would take a, a Green Bay and Detroit tie in order to, to keep them out. But, yeah, I'm going to take the Giants in this game, even though we're probably going to be playing a little less hard than normal. We we really should bench some people going into our wild card game next week. But, you know what? It's whatever. We're going to beat the Redskins in FedEx. Display our dominance. <laughs> over the NFC East, which we've had all year. We really have. We've split with the Eagles. We dominated the Cowboys. And it's time to split with the Redskins. So Giants over Redskins. Seahawks at 49ers. Seahawks are going to route the 49ers in this game and display why they should be a threat in the playoffs. Saints at Falcons. The Falcons are going to come out and dominate the Saints. Their defense is too good. And... Yeah, there's really nothing the Saints can do about it. <laughs> They're going to get bullied by the uh, by the Falcons. and Yep, Falcons over Saints. Packers at Lions. This game is for the NFC North crown. The winner of this game will go into the playoffs. The loser of this game 
can be left out if the Washington Redskins beat the New York Giants. So this game is really a loser a loser is done game. Winners in, you, know, you win, you're in, you lose, you're out. There. Um, it's an extremely even matchup. The Packers have finally gotten hot. The the white hot team that I thought they were going to be going into the season. The Lions, they're still their consistent good self. But, you know, they've been a real shoddy team since they lost to the Giants. The Giants really gave the, the Lions a wake-up call. You know, they can't coast uh, through their through their schedule. They're going to meet a couple brick walls. And winning a game in the NFL is never easy, especially when you go up a team or go up against a team like the Packers. Uh, you know, I'm going to use my Giants as a reference here. The Giants lost to the Packers when they weren't even their good self like they are now, and they've beaten the Lions in the last last few weeks. Um, so if the Giants lose to the Packers, but they've beaten the Lions, if you think about it, the Packers have no reason to lose this game against the Lions, but the Lions are probably going to be playing really hard. Uh, they want to get into the playoffs just as bad or worse as the Packers do. And what what a, what a wake-up call would be in Lambeau if the Packers lost this game and missed out on the playoffs. That would be incredible. But, yeah, personally, as a Giants fan, I'd rather face the Lions in the playoffs, so I'm going to take the Lions here over the Green Bay Packers. And, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to do it for your 2016 regular season. Well, 2016-17 regular season, anyway. Uh, yeah, all these games going to be concluding from 1 p.m., to 8.30 p.m. Eastern Time on Sunday, January 1st, 2017. So, yeah, it's been a fun regular season talking about football with you guys, and I guess I'll see you in the playoffs next week. That's going to do it for me, your boy Hobo, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.